Okay, so we're going to do a time test on how long it takes to fill this bottle up. This bottle is six inches across. I'm sure there's a formula. I know there's a formula out there to check volume. This is six inches across and it's 21 inches to the neck. So maybe I'll look that up and uh, post that. Six by 21. Uh, the temperature, current temperature of the cylinder head is 62 degrees. It's about 10 o'clock at night. I don't know how well you can see that. 62. It's about 10 o'clock at night right now and it's definitely cooled down. We are at zero degrees. I have my ability to bleed off air. Psst, 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 psst. Nothing. There we go. You can see that. We're two minutes and 18 seconds into it. We're at 32, 4, 36 pounds. Eighty-six degrees on the temperature. Sixty psi. Five minutes and four, five, six. One hundred and twelve degrees on the top of the head. Seven minutes and forty-nine seconds. Fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two. We're at eighty pounds of pressure. One hundred twenty-seven degrees. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting pretty okay, so warm. So I just stopped the compressor at 80. It's right at 80 pounds. 8 minutes and 21 seconds it took to get to 80 pounds. And uh, the cylinder head right now is at 134 degrees. So I'm not really going to let it get any hotter than that. Because that's pretty friggin' hot right there. It's a little warm. Okay, dokie. So I wired the electric fan into the pressure switch. We're still holding tight at 80 pounds. It's been about a minute and 40 seconds. I left this timer alone. Eight minutes and 21 seconds. It's been about a minute and 40 seconds if you can do all this. So let's see. The cylinder head is. 101 degrees. Look at the cooling fins are 99 degrees. So automatically, oh yeah, these are nice and toasty. Just sitting here, hey Newman, just sitting here um, without doing anything for about a minute, it's transferred uh, 30 degrees already. Uh, it's dropped 30 degrees, 35 degrees. So it's transferring heat. So maybe I don't need that that grease stuff. Oh man, that really did. This is at 99 degrees. This was at 62. It was all ambient room temperature, the same as the cylinder head. And we're at 99. And the head itself is at 92. Awesome. Hey, hold on. Okay, I did something wrong. Here. Okay, so let's go ahead and hear it for uh, spare parts. Uh, I wired it right, but the fan had failed. Now, the neighbor who gave me this. Uh, said that he had this stored out in a shed, so it, it was crunchy when I first got it, and I blew it out, and I put a little graphite in there. But uh, when you hook power to it, now it, it doesn't work, and it worked before, but now it doesn't. So I had a spare, I had a spare. So we're at 80 pounds. We're at eight minutes and 32 seconds right now. We've cooled down to uh, cylinder head is 82 degrees, 79 degrees, the cooling fins are 84 degrees. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hell yeah. 12 minutes. I don't even know if you can see that. Probably not. It's 12 minutes and 38 seconds right now. Just about ready to shut off. This should be at its hottest possible time now because it's really squeezing air. 90 degrees. 88 degrees down lower. Cooling fins are 84. So we're at, we were at 14 and uh, what did I say? 14.20? It's still running. I forgot to stop it. Cylinder head sitting at 94 degrees. So the cooling fan works. The cooling fins slash fan are awesome. I think they're most excellent. Actually, I'm going to keep that off for just a minute. 
I'm gonna put my ear protection in. You know why I'm putting ear protection in? Oh, I don't know. Why do you think? What? <laughs> Speaker check. Turn down your volume. Seriously, just turn down your volume. I'm gonna see how long I can toot this thing. Oh, it's like 10:30 at night right now. I just closed the door to the shed here. Uh, yeah, this gonna make a lot. Turn your volume down. It took uh, <clears throat> three minutes and four seconds to refill that last 20 PSI. And now this fan is dead. I'm going to have to figure something out. I wonder if it doesn't like the heat. Although that doesn't make sense because this is a processing cooler. Um, but this one crooked as well. So maybe it's something I'm doing. Does it not like the vibration maybe? Oh boy, that still gets pretty warm though. Which is a good thing. It's taking it away from the head. Shut up. 120 degrees on that one. The head is 114 degrees. So it's definitely dissipating heat. But uh, yeah, the second fan. Do you guys have you guys ever used computer fans for stuff like this? I've never used it in such a rugged environment. But this is the second one. I mean, this one only lasted that first cycle. And um, and now when I put power to it, nothing happens. And it's warm. The central centerpiece is well. It's cooled off now a little bit, but the centerpiece is 92 degrees. So I'm wondering if the heat maybe that's too much. That's too much. Well, I could run it without the fan. I don't know. We'll see. I gotta experiment a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. These are loud. Hey, volume check again, guys. Sorry. Just a kid. enough of that snuff. I don't need a lynch mob coming after me. Alright, I gotta run. I gotta go inside before people start throwing rocks at my house. I gotta go. See you!